askew is one of those films like x the man with x-ray eyes which has a confusing plethora of names in the united states it was first known as the winged serpent later it was retitled q short for quetzalcoatl the aztec god who was half reptile half bird in britain it is known more formally as q the winged serpent q was directed in 1982 by larry cohen Larry Cohen is a famed writer-director producer of exploitation films, among them Demon, It's Alive, and The Private Files of J. Edgar Hoover. Q is his most ambitious film. It's a combination of a slasher movie and King Kong. In fact, Cohen goes one better than Willis O'Brien and Marion C. Cooper and sets his monster's roost, not in the Empire State Building, but in the attic of the Chrysler Building, a deco skyscraper which some say is the most beautiful structure in New York. Cohen is a true guerrilla filmmaker. He doesn't bother with permits or permissions or anything like that. Finish the first draft, gather up whatever character actors are to hand and get out there and shoot. Several times the production of Q was halted by police who thought the hail of gunfire coming from the upper floors of Manhattan skyscrapers was genuine. Nevertheless, he's assembled quite a good cast for this one. The film has, in addition to the usual red-faced, bewigged bit players, Michael Moriarty, who was the star of Dog Soldiers, Candy Clark, from The Man Who Fell to Earth, Richard Roundtree, who of course was Shaft, and a brace of Caradines. Cohen has very bad taste, but he knows how to keep a story moving. Unlike John Sayles, whose alligator we've just seen, he isn't interested in ringing any changes on genre. He just tells the story and that's it. He also has a nice eye for detail and a perverse sense of humor. Q is presented by Samuel Z. Arkoff, the King of the Bees. <laughs>